Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, north top, you stop breathing. Yeah, the top rank card. Now, top rank itself, like, I mean, this, this shit... Let's put it this way. This was a double header that could have went that could have went wayward. As originally the main event was FA Ajaba versus Oscar Rivas. Now Rivas, we've talked about on plenty of occasions before. You know, I mean, I've personally been I've been I've been in the house for watch him fight when he knocked out By, and you know, and then no. and then we and then the Bridgeway fight where me, Rome, and uh, LB we watched that shit, and you know that shit was a whole. I mean, the that was low, a classic. <laughs> The, the lone bridge of weight fight that's that's taken place official for that title is it, it, it was a damn near fight of the year candidate and it's still the only one taking place you know oh but yeah that shit was clear i'll never forget this nigga rose said hey man <laughs> you ain't watching the fight like nah like man that fight might be the one that end up being good nigga you ain't bet on it nah nigga <laughs> next thing you know pat send the text hey man these motherfuckers is throwing like i'm like okay shit, i did it for me yeah, you know, that, 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 shit, that shit was a dope fight. But then Rivas, unfortunately, was not blessed with the strongest of retinas. Because he's, and this is the reason why he hasn't been licensed in the U.S. Because in certain places, because he has a lot of retinal tears. You know, a lot of, in, in commissions in the U.S., that's like a career ender. So that the fact that he actually fought in upstate New York was a miracle to, was a miracle to actually sell it. But uh, apparently in the sparring session, he had another retinal tear. So they had to pull him out. Uh, so they, like I said, they could, they could have thrown the whole shit in there, but instead they elevated uh, Stephen Shaw, who is another one of the prospects, uh, to the to the main event role, and he'll face Effie Ajaba. And then the co-feature would be Guido Vianello, who I'm not really high on, by the way, but you know he's an he's an, he's an Olympian and everything like that. He's facing a friend of Ring Gang Radio's, Mr. Johnny Rice. You know, yes. so. You know, and uh, I know Johnny, because if you if you listen to our interview before, you know Johnny kind of upset the apple car and probably pissed off some people at PBC when he brutally knocked out Michael Coffey the first time around, and then beat up on him some more a year ago on the on the first PBC card that that pay per view over the distance. Uh, you would think after after wins like that, so one sided they couldn't even rob him. Yeah, they couldn't. And they do no fuckery. It was just like, yeah, he beat his ass. Like, yeah. Yeah, and he might have low key ruined coffee too, because coffee hasn't won a fight since then. Like, he did ruin got... coffee. And as far yeah. as Johnny Rice, I've heard. I think coffee got a win against some really bad record guy. But yeah, he's pretty much in the mud. Yeah. <laughs> as, as far as coffee, I mean, sorry, as far as uh, Johnny Rice, uh, shout out to Johnny Rice, but I've heard just you no know, rumors that he's. Uh, rub some people the wrong way behind the scenes he's not very well liked so i'm wondering if that has anything to do with uh how he's i mean he, i mean that's what he told i mean he, he 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 did mention a whole bunch of things like you know that and like i mean also him beating coffee because remember they were propping coffee up like coffee was getting like the attention like johnny was supposed to be the job boy for that fight like in, you know and the know, second fight is what kind of did it though that's yeah because that was supposed to be like it gotta be a fluke. Like, fight that nigga again. Like, and the funny thing is, too, Johnny, he wasn't even, we even told him he wasn't in shape. Johnny told him he wasn't in shape because he had been celebrating the holidays. And he still beat dude's ass, like, bad. Like, decisively. And that's the worst. And see, honestly, I think that's what did it. Like, if Johnny Rice would have knocked him out again, dudes would have been pissed. But it would have been like, well, hold on. We could kind of market this. Like, you know, Johnny Rice, you know, contender, this, that, that, that another another knockout but it's like it was a fool's goal like he wasn't as good in shape as he was for the first fight he wasn't and it was you could visibly seen it and coffee still couldn't improve on it and still yeah. like he got him with one good shot that right said he had and, and we saw it but other than that that's boxing so mm -hmm. still still lost fucking decisively so uh eh. and, and against somebody who wasn't at their best yeah you know and i i think yeah they, uh, rice loki kai got blackballed and i think he's he and that and that's the reason why he's on his top record because yeah yeah because he was signed to pbc like he had been fighting on pbc cards because i could feel him being blackballed a little bit after that but yeah. the thing is it did open up doors for him and with the personality he showed to us like and the fans yeah. like 
I don't see how you can really hate this nigga, but I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, cause I, I don't know motherfuckers' whole lives and shit, but it's just right. wow. But I'm, I'm glad he has the opportunity now, though. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's the uh, main actually, can I say, I say like this because Vianello, and I'll be the first to say, I, I don't think Vianello is that good, but he's undefeated. You know, he's 10 0 and 1. The one draw is the one I remember because it was on one of those, uh, uh, one of those top rank uh, COVID shows. The quarantine cards, yeah. Yeah, the quarantine cards where he, he, he fought one of the Nigerians, Kingsley eBay. eBay, yeah. eBay, eBay beat his ass, but they, for whatever reason, they gave him, it was a draw on that card. And I don't yeah, know. I remember that. that was a good little fight. Vino is not that good. Johnny Rice should win this pretty easily. But, you know, he's, he's big, he's Italian, you know you know how top rank goes, and he's a heavyweight, so. And, and, and what does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> right. It means a lot because the thing is, <clears throat> if the fight is competitive or close enough, you know, it could swing. I mean, we just we we went on about forty minutes about Ellis and in, in fucking um Via. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, like, we, we actually fucking know Johnny, right? So I don't, I don't want to see him lose a fucking close decision where I know he could have bodied the motherfucker. So. I hope his intention is to break this dude down and get him out of there. Like, right? Yeah, because like I said, Vianello. Like, I, I know Bob keep, wants keep the to fucking move. momentum going. Shit. I know Bob wants to move this guy in, in Vanello into certain certain places. Like, you know, you, you try to build him up. And Johnny, and honestly, Johnny is probably a, a, a threat to it. Like, I mean, I mean, most people look at Johnny Rice's record. You know, he's fifteen six and one with ten knockouts and whatever, and th- and with one draw, and thinking like, oh, you know, he, you know. You know, he, he he may be an opponent because I mean we and we've gone on Johnny before. I think we told him about the FA, his effort in the FA Jabba fight where he didn't put much of an effort in losing. Uh, but then, like I said, you know he's dangerous. Johnny Rice is dangerous. He's a very dangerous. See, at least fighter. he's humble enough to even say that too. Like, how, how many boxers you know you could grill them about their fucking losses like that? Like, yeah, because <laughs> you know when they look bad, like dude, like ain't, ain't too many motherfuckers gonna do, go to here. And, and, and we all at least have boxing experience, but just imagine a random motherfucker doing none of that shit, just mm-hmm. grilling you about your losses. So uh, I, I get it, but like you said, he's dangerous as fuck. He, he a big athletic dude with a good right hand. Like you can't sleep on that. Yeah, and he can throw combinations. That's the part. And Vianello, it reminds me of he, he reminds me of a plotter to me. Like I don't I don't think I don't yeah. think there's anything special about that guy. And he'll be there to take all those combinations. We, we hope. I think Rice is a sliding, uh, slight betting favorite. Uh, I have not checked the odds. P, what's uh, what's the odds say in um, in your sports book, man, for this fight? If they, I'm sure they have uh, it. Out. Hold on, let me see. I because I have not seen. Hold on. But, but yeah, no, the, I, I'm looking for it because I because I, I, I want this to be a statement fight for Johnny to like. Okay, look, you know, you're not gonna, you know, like, you know, you gotta punch me for winning the coffee fights. Bam, let me take let me take another zero from a prospect. Yeah, let, <laughs> let me let me ruin a prospect on both sides of the street. So so none of y'all fuck with me. <laughs> so, so I can fight. So I can fight under, everybody. We're so I can fight on the zone. So I can fight um, on a British. <laughs> Johnny comes. Rice. Johnny Rice is a minus one ten uh, favorite. Vin, and Vin, uh, what about Vianello? Is he plus what? Hold up. Let me see. Um, v- oh, wait. oh, wow. No, no. Wow, that's weird. So for Vianello is minus 120 and Rice is minus 110. Oh, damn. So, you can't really. So, yeah. So they. So the odds are close. So they know that it's uh, either, it, it could be either or. I guess. Plus it's a dangerous fight. It's a sixteen to one for a draw, plus sixteen hundred. So, but yeah, it's not gonna get be a draw because Rice gonna whoop his ass. Yeah, and, and I, another thing too. Like I said, I mean, it should. I mean, Rice should. Put, uh, Rice had can put him away. I'm. I'm just hoping he does. Like, yeah, like, I, like, fuck it. I'm gonna just say it. Like, did, did, I should see a six round knockout. Yo, that was that's exactly the round I was picking. Like six, like six round. Hey, I, I think Rice is gonna get yeah, Johnny out. Rice gonna fucking. Work behind the jab, get the combinations going, and once he starts dropping the big right hand, it, it's a fucking wrap. Like it, it's ain't ain't too much to say about it, really. Like I I don't see too much else unless Johnny Rice gonna unless he hit him with some uppercut season. I'll be I'll I'll really be impressed. I'll be like, oh, damn, motherfucker. Like okay, but, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but but the right hand to do it, shit. Uh, 
And if you could get that left hook that I be seeing in the damn TikTok videos, then follow Tony Rice on TikTok because he do be act- active on his shit. He's one of the few boxers that really be fucking with TikTok. That and Instagram to his Instagram. And Instagram, Instagram, yeah. Entertaining dude, but yeah, good heart. But yeah, he been working out the whole year, so I know he ready for this shit. Yeah, no, exactly. Because it's been a year since he since he last fought. Like shit. Yeah. You know, I, I'm sure he's gonna come in. He's got. I, I'm sure he's gonna come into ring. And I'll be, if he's on the two sixties, I'll be surprised. Like you know, like like he usually is. You know. Uh, but yeah, no. That, 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 but that's a, that's a, that's still that's still a great fucking co-main. You know. And then also with the main event with FA Ajaba and uh, Stephen Shaw. Now, Stephen Shaw has been. He's been. On, and Stephen Shaw actually has a victory over Johnny Rice. So it's not like he hasn't faced anybody before. He's he's beaten him uh, by by you know by decision. So like you know Stephen Shaw though is it, after Jared Anderson he's probably he's probably he's another heavy American heavyweight prospect, but he's more he's less he's lesser known. Although not he's not too known, but he's 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 for, for everything I've seen from him he's pretty good. I, yeah, I, he's, I like, he's, he's, he's really is he on the same level as um. Would you say he's on the same level as uh, what's his name? Uh, who fought white? Uh, Franklin. Uh, I actually like Franklin? him more than Franklin. Yeah, no. Shaw. Shaw is. Shaw I like is him more, more than Franklin. Yeah, Shaw is a little bit more. Shaw's more athletic than Franklin. I will say that. Yeah. He's, yeah. Shaw. Franklin more James Tony ish. Stand there, slip slide, box. I'm not gonna compare him to James Tony. Card. He fought, he fought <laughs> not, 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 not. I know. I, I mean, know. in the mold of like the, the type yeah. of style, like. Nah, no, I know. I know. I'm just yeah. saying. Shaw, Shaw, fought, <laughs> yeah, Shaw fought Rido Booker in the small card in November. I remember watching that randomly. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he would knock him out. He would knock him yeah. out, but he cut his he cut him he cut his lip pretty bad. I mean, yeah. I mean, Rido Booker's only been knocked out by Flip Hergovich, so it's not like that's saying a lot. Like, I mean, it's not like a bad thing. Oh well, he didn't knock him out because. I said only Herkovich knocked out uh, Rido Booker. So, right. So I mean, so th- but this is good because Stephen Shaw has been has been he's been operating low key under the radar. So to face someone who's who is a dangerous puncher like F. A. Jabba, and if he beats him, we'll actually you know we'll actually uh, you know we'll actually speak you know you know we'll actually you know this will actually be a great like an achievement or whatever because like, Jabba is now. I mean, I'm I'm still high on F. A. Jabba, although I admittedly. I'm not. It, it yeah, that, that, I mean Frank Sanchez fight kind of let like put the sails took all, out, took all the wind out of the sails. Well, I mean, I but no, but it's not even just a Frank Sanchez fight. FA has always been up and down for me, and like that was just the final like kind of like oh, it's okay. the way he fought. Like he didn't, he he lost like a like to be honest, like Karen in the last couple rounds with boots. Fought harder than a Jogba did in the yeah. whole fight with Sanchez, and that's to see a big motherfucker be passive. I just it just irks me because then I look at like, like you big six five for nothing Yeah, because like, yeah, he should basically, basically he didn't try. Like, he didn't go into Plan B. Like you know, and that shit was pissing me off. And then you know, Frank yeah. Sanders knocked him down cleanly, and I'm just like, the fuck. Even though I felt like the ref fucked him out of a knockdown too, he did. But he I, still, I still like like but I still dude, like, just won that shit clear. And that was a fight I said that always should have happened. I was like, because that was the prospect fight, because this because this took place after a job left PBC to go to top rank. And I always said that's, that was a fight that needed to happen. Well, when they were when for the Wilder fight when they're talking about you know top rank and PBC, and that was the fight they made. I was like, this was the this was going to determine who was going to be the heavyweight contender going forward. And unfortunately, it's Sanchez right now. So it's like. You know, but then ever since then, Ajaba had one fight. I think on one of the undercard undercards, which he won by knockout. But I think he had been out because he had been injured. So this is now this is a way to reintroduce himself. You know, if he if he if he can one punch, you know, another under the radar prospect. You know, who like Lone Star Star says, you know, you know he's the one. You know, Lone Star, Shaw is the one on the shelf if Anderson doesn't work out. <laughs> Pretty much. What does he mean? He's on. He's the one on the shelf. Oh, so if, if Anderson doesn't work out, then Shaw is the one. The next. Yeah, they're, they're gonna try to push Shaw. Like, well, I mean, why, why y'all can't just push him at the same time. Like, yeah, cool. you know, why does one nigga gotta go gold for you? Yeah, to no, I, 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 yeah, I get what he's saying. I, I get, I get what you're saying, LB. But I get he's he's like, well, yeah, no, I get. It. <laughs> you can push him both. So, yeah, you yeah can, that's you all can, I'm saying. It's like, like literally. Hold on, so. So so PJ gotta go platinum in order for DZ to get an album. Like nah, 
Both them niggas on Ring Gang. They gonna come out with an album. PJ just gonna come out with his shit first. Yeah, I'm sure they'll make. Uh, and hey, uh, Low Star, you're forgetting about their young boy uh, Torres. So I'm sure he'll get some. Yeah, the, the Torres. Yeah, so they they have, they have their stages, I guess. You know, they, I, mean, I mean, truthfully, they should push them both. But hey, now that they're both on, I mean, now you know, I mean, Shaw's on the card. Well, we'll see. I mean, if Shaw loses, then yeah, you know, Anderson. Yeah, this still, is starts. So I can't. I, ain't I mean, maybe him. hey, hey, maybe this is their way of pushing him. So maybe they are pushing him. Baby him. steps sometimes. Now, 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 with FA Jabba and Stephen Shaw, so what are we thinking? I mean, do we think? Um, F, I mean, my heart will now. I, as much as I, I uh, my common sense is oh trying to tell god. me that Shaw this guy, this Stephen guy's. Shaw. Oh my god! I already know this guy's going to go with his nausea roots. Whatever, go ahead with the hot and cold nausea boy. Yeah, go with the uh, fucking jo- Joloff pig, nigga. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm. I think Shaw's going to beat him. About what? Decision, like. He's just too hot and cold, and I just think this is going to be one of those nights off for a Jogba, and Shaw's going to put his foot in his ass. Damn, so this is going to be like an ass whooping then. Yes. I think he could stop him if he if he start whooping his ass. Maybe a late I mean, stop, I, but I think, I think he takes it in the distance. Yeah. I, 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 okay, I'm going to go with my common sense. I'm going to say that fucking Shaw wins this on the, on the decision. As much as it pains me to say it. Oh my god, this motherfucker. Like now, if a Java knocks him out, then you know I'm gonna, you know, it's gonna be a whole bunch of, you know, celebration. Nah, you know? nah, but then we're gonna look at you funny because damn, you ain't rock with your man. Yeah. Nah, so you, nigga, you, nah, nigga you, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna dude, celebrate dude, dude, that shit. Are you nigga. rock look, nah nigga, nah. No, I'm, I'm gonna is celebrate he Nigerian that or isn't he? Nigga, I, I'm using my I'm using my boxing sense, nigga. I'm not gonna use my stand. Nah, nigga. nah, nah, no, no. That that's yeah. like me picking Spence against Keith Thurman, nigga. Like literally, really. Well, nigga, I, well, I mean, yeah, you didn't use your you didn't use use your stand sense. You didn't you, you didn't pick him against Pac. I did. I, I already knew. I, I you know I said. Nigga, I, if then fucking Thurman had a great chance too. Get the fuck out of here, like. No, nah, I mean, you know, the, I, 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 I said Thurman I against Pac. Fight, yeah, I was like, like, already showed me what I needed to know that he wasn't gonna beat Pac, like in you know. And God damn it, I was right on that. Damn near it did. Jeez. I mean, to be fair, you fucker be- don't get dropped, he wins. If if he don't he don't get hurt at the end, he wins. Take take out one of those two things, he wins. But he has both of those against him. And he lost. Well, no, it is what take it is. Out, but- take out one of those things, it's a draw. Especially no, take out the take out the knockdown, it's a draw. So oh. I yeah. can, you know I you can I can argue that you can. No, see I'm saying like yeah. by the cards, the way I remember the cards playing. Yeah, out. you can see. Yeah, it could be a draw. You take. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, well, you, yeah take away good. one of those. Yeah, that's a that's how good the fucking fight was though. Like so, nah, but like, but come on, like dude, like literally, like you can't be praising this. Like nah, nah. Yeah, mm-hmm. now if he wins, I hope Shaw knock him the fuck out because of that. Now, nigga. yeah, I mean, if Shaw decision him, that's and I say, in the, in the, hey, it happens, you know, you know. Now, if let's say if FAW, nah, you, know, you supposed to pick your man, you can't be on the. Don't be talking about Navi them carry first or whatever the fuck y'all be saying and shit. <laughs> when, when after he done, nah, nah, nah. nah you're, not, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not, you're not gonna shame me on this one, nigga. Like, nah, nah, nah. We know we gonna shame you because nah, we gonna nah, hear it. Nah, nah, oh, nigga. Nah, we're talking it, about. Nah, Lone Star, we're talking about F.A. Jogba versus Steven Shaw. That's the fight. Well, Pilot, what's your prediction? Like, that's, these, that's niggas, the these niggas are wilding right now. Pilot, what's your prediction? What's your pro? Um, I think a Jogba could chin him, but a safe bet is probably a Shaw by decision. Um, I'm just hoping this action, you know, heavyweight. I think both these guys are going to come to win. Um, you know, again, a Jogba did, you know, all we can remember is Sanchez fight. He's kind of looking pedestrian. Um... He's looked pedestrian in a lot of fights, but it's just really bad against Sanchez because Sanchez had the tools to stand up against him. Yeah, he's like a poor man's African Wilder. <laughs> so, so, so shit. God damn. Jesus. Damn it, nigga. Did you, have, did you have to say that at 12.30 in the morning, my nigga? Like, jeez. I'm sorry, nigga. brother. I'm sorry. <laughs> this, this nigga's so uncouth, nigga. Like, no, I'm not, You know I'm kind of halfway right, but um, I think... You know, what the fuck am I supposed to say about that, nigga? I'm supposed to take that shit, nigga? What the fuck? Like, I can agree. It's all good. It's all good. A poor <laughs> man, African wild. <laughs> I mean, like, man, like, I, I, but it's I, like I'm, passive. No, I mean, but this is the thing, like, because at least Wilder, when he boxes, I mean, the rare times, like, 
it's not passive. Like Zogbe uh, boxing is so fucking passive. It's passive, yeah. That's the that, that, that's shit. Like, it's like that, Anthony Joshua versus Parker passive. Like that, and then the whole the one twos. Like he has a right hand, but his punch selection is just it, it aggravates me because I can see that dude can absolutely if he had comedy if he threw some combinations, dude would light some cats up. But he just likes his his one two because he has a right hand out of this world. So it's just like. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, Pilot was right. He, Damn it, Great man. value, African Wilder. Man, <laughs> shit. With, uh, with, with a little Rocky Juarez in him. <laughs> no, pre- appreciate his stuff, though. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, but I, I guess I guess everyone's everyone's thinking decision, you know, although LB's hoping for a knockout, and I'm hoping for F.A. Java to win by a knockout. D- dude, Lord. honestly, look... For the heavyweight, the, the set off the heavyweights for 2023, this shit, we need a double header that ends in knockout. So Rice by six round KO, Shaw by six round KO. It should be to the point where both these motherfuckers is calling each other out again or something. Like, I, I need I need a good fucking, we need some heavyweights to run shit right now. It's either that or the heavyweights get into like a, or both of them get into like a fight of the year type boss, which would be incredible if they Which, which would be nice too, because face it, we gave you Tank, we gave you a bunch of boogeymen, and these niggas dropped the ball. So heavyweights, the eyes are on you. Like, you're our last hope of the sport for fucking January. Please mm-hmm. deliver, please. And then also too, they, they have one more card on the one more fight in the main card, and it's still an excellent fight too. Hey, you know? yeah, sorry, I, I cut off. But I was saying before I before I got cut off that it's funny how Pat's Nigerian go go goes for some Nigerians, but not other Nigerians. But now he wants to pick and choose with this one. So well, yeah, I, 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 I tell you before, I don't pick every fucking Nigerian fight because they're Nigerian, bro. Yeah, well then, 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 then your heart shouldn't. Then, then you know, you don't be celebrating the motherfuckers. We don't want to hear that shit. Well, you niggas, you don't even know who I don't celebrate, my niggas. So, uh, so no, 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 the motherfuckers you bring to us, we know you celebrate. That's why. Yeah, that, you, that's you why we're know, calling you out on. You, them. you don't know the ones that I don't, and I've, and I, I've, I've, I've said it. I've said who they are. So it's not Wilder, like you, Herbie Hyde, uh, and I forgot. There's another one I can't remember, but. So yeah. there, I mean, there's a far more than Herbie Hyde and I, I can one day, and you know, all the mothers like there's there's far more than that. But I don't I, I don't support every Nigerian fighter out there. I don't. He thinks Sam Peter beat them. McLean. I mean, yeah. no, he said McLean won. Yeah, like like I said, I'm, I'm not on some of them. Like, it must be a, 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 a I don't know a, a class thing or something. I, like, I, ke- I keeps it all the way real with this shit, nigga. So it's not like I mean, like I don't support every fucking Nigerian fighter that's out there. Like, you know, like nah. I, I got to figure out how he picks and chooses between. Which you Nigerian. you won't. Pick the- all you have to do is see it's all boxing. Whenever so I there's no it, rhyme or reason. Is weird shit. Yeah, there's it's no rhyme or reason. At least with me and Puerto Rican fighters, I, there's a rhyme or reason to which ones I support. This yeah, nigga you, probably you, support, you support, support, support. I'm just happy. This nigga supports the Nigerian that can bench press. I support the, the good like, okay. Puerto Rican. <laughs> and, right, you you like, support okay, Rodejo. That nigga, bro, that nigga bro, can bench press like, 450. I, I, I did. Fucked with I, I support <laughs> I support two types of Puerto Rican boxers, the good ones and the black ones. So he supported for Dale, who was trash. Yeah. I, I, who I thought was trash from the yes, jump. but no, but he was. He I was, mean, uh, Verdejo had a shot at the beginning. No, he but had he a shot. Stagnated, like he spilled on the vine. I I, I support trash, I support Tomas Delorme. I don't care. Like I I, I, I Delorme wasn't it. bad. He. He was boxing up Crawford, them um, for six rounds. Ass. Yeah, he damn near beat Ugas. <laughs> Actually, I thought he beat Ugas, so yeah, he probably did. Well, without the deductions, he would have beaten Ugas. Was but, beating know, Jesse no. Vargas ass. Yeah. yeah, you know, just only boots kind of like put him, you know, kind of put him to the side. I'm know? also about to stop supporting top ranked Puerto Ricans because. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Does top <laughs> rank even su- support top rank Puerto Rican? <laughs> I mean, they tried to because they they love their Puerto. You know, top rank loves Puerto Ricans. I, I, I'm gonna need PBC to get into the Puerto Rican pool, just like they do with the Dominicans. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Top rank me, got- I mean, we're we're in a good start with Matias. So, yeah, Matias is there at least we know, but you know, 
That's only one though. Whereas top rank, the ones are kind of hit or miss. And Danny, <laughs> we got we got Danny and Matias. So at least at least PBC is batting two for two with Puerto Rican fighters. So yeah, top rank is uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, got Rosado and top rank got like an army of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and an an army of like those little toy soldiers that just you know you run them over with the tank. Like they're not durable. Mars. <laughs> so you want tank to fight a Puerto Rican? No. <laughs> you want Shakur Stevenson versus Tank? Oh, hey, hey, we got Shakur on, on on top rank. That's their best Puerto Rican. Like that's also <laughs> true. Even though, even though, even though, funny things though, the arguments on Twitter I see about that are just I shake my head because it's like niggas don't want him to be Puerto Rican. Like, even though he says he is, you know, niggas is weird. Niggas Puerto he, like, Rican. Yeah, he's half, he's half Puerto Rican. His father was Puerto Rican. No, there's no such thing as half Puerto Rican. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? He's, he's Puerto no, Rican. His no, parents? he's black. See, that's black what this is. Do- do- you you ever listen to, to Dr. Umar, nigga? Black nigga, that's the type of shit. See, bro, is what I'm talking about. That's what you have niggas be arguing about on Twitter. There's no such thing as half black. You either black or you're not, nigga. You can can't be half Puerto Rican, nigga. But see, but that's some new shit. Back in the day, if one of your parents was something, niggas is already you're that. like, you're, yeah, that, you're like, that. But no, no, no. But niggas, niggas respected being mixed and light skinned, being black back in the day more. Now niggas want to give only, it only if your pops else. was black. Only if your pops was black. If it, if your mom was black, it was on some colonizer shit. Niggas is like, damn, what they. <laughs> Them niggas, them niggas stole your mama. Like, damn, nigga. <laughs> Unless you had one of those damn hood rat type of white dude pops or some shit. That's the special occasion. You know, the, the fucking white dude that speaks Patois. He was born in fucking Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he's stupid. You niggas are stupid tonight, yo. So what's Andre Ward, nigga? Oh, uh, yeah, because Andre Ward is half black and I, he's Irish, too. His father's Irish. <laughs> And he, and he looks like oh, his white black. father, too. But well, he's just black. You see, back in the day, you call Andre Ward black. Now, these new niggas would say he's mixed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Halle Berry's black, but new niggas would say, nah, Halle Berry's mixed. She's not black. Get the fuck out of here. Somewhere, yeah, great, somewhere her here, great, lot, great somewhere with Samoan or some shit, like niggas be tripping. You know? Somewhere, yeah. some somewhere, logic is hearing this very sad, and it was a very sad face. But, but it's true, logic. like back in the day, like if you was light skinned and you was black, motherfuckers didn't care what you was mixed with. Listen, niggas I wish logic black. was in my high school talking about my dad's black. We would have whooped that nigga's ass. But yeah, <laughs> that is black, black like, though. <laughs> We'd be like, nigga, prove it. Bring pictures. Tell a nigga to come up here. <laughs> Your white ass. And I, I think that would happen in any era. Just like Andrew <laughs> Tate. Andrew Tate's father is black. Get the fuck out of here. Dead serious. Nigga, I'm a new you can tell I'm Andrew a Tate's a little mixed with something. He looked more black than Logic. I tell you that. That nigga, looks, that nigga looks like he'd be at the beach. That nigga don't look like he's black. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. If he was this, I'm like, nah, like I can see you mixed with something, but like you're you're more white to me than like a mix. Yeah, dude. he looks like a vacationed white man. He don't look like Yeah. <laughs> vacation white man. Yo, you niggas are stupid. <laughs> <Vacation though. white. laughs> But yeah, but yeah, no. Uh, but yeah, like this card also has one more fight on there too, which is a good fight, it's a hell of a fight actually. You know, we got uh, Adam Lopez of, of many wars facing Ooh. Abraham Supernova. It's a great fight, oh, Loki. It's, 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 it's a good fight. Oh no, wait, wait, wait! Is this on the main card or? That's like, on the main what? card. It's on the main. At ten. Card. Oh fuck! So we got like a good triple header then. Yeah, this yeah, this shit is that, that, that's a good fight because Lopez. Why am I more hyped for this than the tank card? Shit, because it's better. I, I have no desire to see Supernova. He's banned from the bodega. I yeah, no, but Adam, but Adam Lopez though, you know that, that dude gets Adam Lopez be thumping though. Yeah. That okay, well he can thump out cool. Nova. So. Yeah, I, I, I honestly. I mean, shit. I, look, I don't mind seeing Adam Lopez beat up Nova, and then I get to see two heavyweight scraps like that's. That's a good Saturday night for me. I don't know. Like, maybe yeah. new niggas is gonna say, "No, nah, man, let me, let me get a booth showcase." <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I picked Nova over Robisi. I don't know if y'all remember that, but Robisi iced him. 
Yeah, well, yeah. Nova is right now has to now because he because he got tenderized a little bit by that brutal knockout. So facing someone who likes to scrap like Lopez, pause. huh? I what said pause people? with that tenderized tenderoni shit you said. Well, I'm not, uh, nigga. I didn't say it in a homo way, nigga. What the fuck. Yeah, like you, you saying pause kind of like made me like what the fuck going on? Like right yeah, now? The, nigga. I, I yeah. Well, no, I, you, you always say pause. So I gotta mock you. So. Well, no, nigga, no, but no, like, y'all should be like, like, literally, like, we gotta say pause. Like, yeah, like, like <laughs> the niggas in the comments gonna be type pause. Like, nah, we gotta respect. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, damn, I, I, I didn't say anything like anything suspect. Yeah, but yeah like, Lone, Lone Star is right. I just sort of, my bad. I've been missing the comments to this night. Uh, I, both guys coming in with must win motives, and that's why this fight is so fucking good. Yeah. Yeah, because Lop- yeah, Lopez, yeah, because I-, I personally, I think Lopez gets hit way too fucking much. Though, he really. fucking does. God <laughs> damn, like, but he, damn it, if you don't make for good fucking fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that dude is that, that dude is a scrap. I mean, I mean, that dude was literally very close to for a career changing, two career changing upsets. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But man, like, he was putting his foot in uh, Valdez's ass. Yeah. And then he and he almost stole it from uh some dog bay too. You know, that's Yeah, that's- yeah, he was giving Dog Bay some trouble. Like, yeah, Dog Dog Bay had to kinda of dig deep with that shit. And in between, he had some bloody fights during the whole the COVID uh, top rank cards, man. The, He's they, not as springy like he, those those hard fights affected him. So Nova has a chance, but <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, but Lopez should get this though. Yeah, yeah, because and, and, and if Lopez does get to, I mean, Nova might need to really start thinking if he wants to continue fighting. Because uh, even though he only has one loss and he did get iced, but you know, it's up for Nova to actually probably brutally knock out Lopez. He should, you know, based off into. But yeah, he's, he, he he has to realize, dude, uh, dude is not gonna stop throwing on his ass. Like you know, Lopez is gonna throw some hands on him. So. I just hope that Nova realizes that and he needs to throw some hands too. <laughs> yeah, both of them. Like, is this a good 50 50 bout? Like, anybody's fighting. I just set the table good for the heavyweights and let's, mm-hmm. let's go. Hopefully, February be a better month for boxing because I- honestly, it feel like January is going to be over soon. Like, yeah. We're going to end up talking about other shit besides boxing in January. Yeah, and we and we definitely got some of those those uh, subjects on deck. So you know, trust me, we we ready for that. You know, um, but yeah, no. But top right, put together a little for the main card. You know, put together some you know good fucking fights. And then of course on the undercard, undercard, they have the prospects. They signed Brian Norman, the guy I'm away from Black Prime, BLK Prime. If you want to be proper about it, you know. Ooh. You know, so he's gonna make his uh, top rank debut. They got Floyd Cashflow Diaz, Haven Brady Jr., Dante <laughs> Benjamin. You know, so they're all gonna be on um, you know in the undercard, undercard. So you know, if you want to uh, Zabber Festival, hold on, but didn't didn't PBC do this last week and called it a pay per view? They did. <laughs> oh, and Bruce Carrington's gonna be on there too. Yeah, yeah, she, she, he's nice. He's, he's good. Yeah. So so yeah, that's all the top rank prospects are gonna be. You know, they gotta do their thing on there and. Uh, yeah, and yeah, none of them are really facing and yeah, like they're not facing anything, anyone too crazy. Uh, yeah, you just want to see some highlight. That's why I say, you know, I'm gonna tune in at ten. I don't mean, I know these dudes is gonna beat the shit out of these guys. Is what if I get there early, I'll watch it. Not, and it is what it is. Like, right. Well, at least it's good. I mean, but at least for Brian Norman Jr., at least I understand why you know he's not he's facing a non-script opponent because you know. He, they got to introduce him somehow. So introduce him with a job where then all the rest are just, they're rookies. They're, they're 8 yeah. 4 and 0, 5 and 0. They're, they're the developmental fights. It, it's good sometimes, like, you know, to catch them, but then it just depends yeah. on how lit your Saturday is. Yeah, exactly. You know, so it's just like, I mean, I usually catch them because I, 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 I like watching them on occasion, like, you know, do their uh, do their job or festival <laughs> thing. You know, but like I said, it's, this is not picture. Yeah, the card started at eight o'clock or, or nine. But no, they, they don't shit start at like six forty-five or seven. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. So it's like you're stuck watching those for like four hours until you get to the main event card, and it's like, like, dude, you're not gonna take ten hours away from like, I love boxing, but nigga, you're not gonna get eight hours away from me for the same card. 
<laughs> like get the fuck out of here if eight if, if boxing's taking away eight hours from me you're giving me at least two cards right and of Not course it doesn't help too. It does, of course it doesn't help too that's also wild car weekend too so that starts on saturday so it's like i'm, I'm gonna be flipping between both those two fucking things wild anyway. card week oh you gotta be that other sport yeah know. the other sport you know yeah really football sports. good old yeah. football Man, Go fuck that, nigga. I just learned how to, to, to throw a spiral the other day, nigga. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good, nigga. Shit. Oh, shit, yo, nigga. You so stupid, yo. God damn it, yo. This, <laughs> yeah, but this nigga spiral looked like he just got sacked while he was throwing it, nigga. <laughs> this nigga throwing nigga, it up. Dude, like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? I tried, like... I mean, I catch good though. Fuck it. it. It has some spin on it. We gon' we gonna work on the uh, length of the throws this week. Baby. Oh, you noodle arm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this nigga's a, oh, you noodle arm, bro. No, I mean, no, it's, it's, noodle it's, arm, nigga. It's, it's bullet, it's bullet passes, but they short and sweet. Okay, you know. I mean, but I'm it's catching. Cool. I do that. So, I, so he's, I, so I hit the garbage can and still caught one of the motherfuckers. So he's, so he's yeah, a that, check down that kid. It was hilarious. That's crazy. I threw a lob to this nigga. This nigga ran straight into the garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker caught sucks. that motherfucker though. Like, <laughs> that nigga, I'm like, yo, nigga, you gonna let that shit go, nigga? <laughs> but honestly, no. the pass was just one of those like it, like I just be like shaking my head. Like, Cause this, this, you this nigga this? just. This nigga don't play football at all. I'm sitting out here throwing 30 yard lasers and shit to this nigga. This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck I'm supposed to know these shits? Is, nigga? That's like if, if you don't box for the first time and, and I'm up here throwing all types of different bolo punches, gazelle punches, lead ref hook, lead left nigga, hooks. Like, nigga. Nigga, if I, nigga, if I'm throwing a football, I want to throw that bit 40 yards. I'm not trying to throw a little fucking rinky dink. Check down, nigga. nigga. You check down, kid. Go, yeah, fuck that. Go, fuck that. Go long. Nah, see, super <laughs> tight. Nah, nah. That's that. See, that's that's how boxing boxing cares more about people. Like, you see, when I sparred you the first time, I didn't just damn haul off and start doing all types of Sugar Ray Leonard shit, nigga. Fuck that. Go long. I told this, I told this nigga how to do. It. I was teaching this nigga pitches. Fucking flea flickers. Come on, nigga. We finna play n- this week, nigga. Nigga, I had on sandals, nigga. Like, motherfucker. I'm like, I'm gonna get 10 o'clock in the morning. morning. Like, people walking their dog and shit. What the fuck? Yeah, nigga. We going to Dolphins tryouts next year, nigga. <laughs> this, this nigga. I'm gonna have my, all my Marino endorsed the damn, uh, Pads and um um wrappings and knee <laughs> braces and yeah, shit. Yeah, nigga, nigga, we were wearing <laughs> isotonus and sketches like you know fucking Joe Montana. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, yeah, this nigga like cause and and the thing is, I was like, damn, like I was trying to get this nigga props too. I was like, and I was like, niggas done tried to teach me a spiral before, but I could never get it. But for some reason, I got it. Like you must have broke the code or some shit. He was like. I'm glad you did, cause nigga, I was about to get annoyed in a few minutes. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> real shit, I'm nigga. Like, just put like, your hands no, on the like, fuck- nah. nigga. All I said was put your hands on the laces and throw it like a basketball, nigga. That's all the fuck you gotta do, nigga. <laughs> See, but no one ever said the basketball shit. Like, I mean, you can't compare boxing and football, nah, but. Basketball is like somehow, and I guess I play basketball, so it worked. Yeah, it's just because when you throw the football, it's just a flick of the wrist, nigga. That's it. That's yeah, what exactly. makes it go far. That's what makes it go far. I was like, oh shit! Like, yeah, I was like, I was throwing oh, yeah. it like it was a basketball after. That. Like you can really, you can easily throw it twenty yards just flicking your wrist, but when you step into it, throw your shoulder and everything, you can bomb that bitch. Yeah. I, I guess I saw the difference. Yeah, this nigga, he he, nigga, he give me a nerf. I'll about. throw it. I'll throw that shit three blocks. I'll throw a nerf three blocks. Across the house, like across the damn neighborhood. You gonna throw it to the corner store? What the fuck? Go to the corner store, and nigga. See if you can catch it. <laughs> Make a hold of the uh, quarter water in the ball, fucking damn lotto. <laughs> I catch a fucking football. Nigga, that should be funny if we do that shit. That should be funny. Oh man. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, but how the fuck we end up talking? 
I mean, it, it beats like that though. But, nice shit up, man. but but we but we did, we spent our bars on the top rank card. Like you know, it, the card is worth it to watch. You know, if you have the time, watch the undercard on the card. If not, watch the main card at ten. You know, like you'll you'll see some fights. You know, um, but yeah, the, the heavyweights. Like, you, you know, the heavyweights get some love. Not not just the top of the vision for heavyweights. We always the Wilders, the Joshuas, the Furies, the Whites, all of the motherfuckers, but. It's a whole goddamn division. Man. It is. Sometimes you want to see the the younger dudes or the contenders get their shot and and see if they can get to that next level. So that's what that's what this card is about. For real, you know. But uh, yeah, I think we've reached the end of our show. Uh, it was a good show. Love the engagement from the people in our chat and everything like that. Salute y'all for who, who turn in to listen to us. You know, you know, talk our shit like we usually do, and. Um, yeah, we're full going. house in this motherfucker. Yeah. Joshua old showed up. I'm like, uh oh, like yeah, I saw that. You know, like, and dang, then, yeah. dang, old school. <laughs> yeah, and then we, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do another show on Thursday on the superlatives for 2022. You know, we had already we already put out a fighter of the year tweet, so we're gonna have a new tweet tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday. So uh, yeah, you know, just make sure you check out for that and also tune in uh, on Thursday evening. So yeah, let's get some final thoughts before we get up out of here. So Rome, you, I'll let you be the first one up, man. What's your final thought, bro? Rome, you were just speaking, bro. Where are you? God damn, this nigga be. That's why. That's why this nigga Chicago win. This nigga, he leaves niggas in the breeze. Sometimes even on fucking on the on the fucking cast too. Uh, LB. <laughs> Oh man, this is a great fucking show. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Lone Star, Beth, Boxer Girl, Henny Guy, Android, of course, Android. Um Did you say before anybody I missed my bad, yo. Um, because the chat just been bumping like yeah, I haven't yeah. been even following it like that. I know y'all been getting it in with the comments. A shout out to everybody on Spotify, um <coughs> Podomatic. Everyone around the world who fuck with us, I know it's mad different countries and everything, and, uh, and on TikTok, all the platforms just keep fucking with us. We want more shit on the way, more collabs. We're gonna start getting more collabs, man, because you know it is it's great building up the sport of boxing and talking about it, getting it more popular and getting more people involved, and that's just the mission this year, you know, just. Make boxing bigger again. You know what I mean, like exactly. I ain't trying to. We won't have no red hats. I, I have a black hat, nigga. You know what I mean, I mean all <laughs> black, motherfucker. Like, yes, sir. You know, but yeah, make boxing bigger again. That, that's that's my that's my model for twenty twenty two. Tell me twenty twenty three, please. No twenty twenty three, bro. Twenty three, bro. Yeah, twenty twenty three is like yeah. yeah yes, we, nigga. We we we've, we've moved on. We've moved on, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Salute. Yo, we, we, wrong, bro. We're, we're on the other side of the force now. <laughs> there you go. Yo, Rome, final thoughts, bro, now that, you, now, now that you're back. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened. I was talking and shit wasn't just registering. But yeah, I was saying, little niggas, stay in your little class, nigga. You ain't got to move up. Just dominate <laughs> dominate where you at. <laughs> stay strong. Stay light on your feet. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it'd, be a, it'd be a champ where you are, nigga. Not everybody's meant to go up. Not everybody's that nigga you feel me not everybody's him you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah you already know what it is tank good job nigga like i told shutter in the previous preview for that shit this was a tune-up <laughs> no 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 no, no fuck it. we gotta end this is look pat he knows i didn't call this until the, like like pat the other day i had this to explain what it was it's a fucking. I, I had to give him the Zab Mayweather example. The, it, that's not a fucking. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, but it's you not a, he just call it a tune up, nigga. You want to fight a nigga that looks like the nigga you want to fight? Nigga, that's a tune up, nigga. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck it. I, I'm done. I can't, I can't explain <laughs> it. Like, this nigga said, you want to fight a nigga that looks like a nigga you want to fight? <laughs> I'm, ah, you, the ah, same last name like come on get the fuck out of here he said same last name <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck it you got me on that one <laughs> like, <"All right." laughs> but yeah it was a tune up he's tuned up and he's ready to go <laughs> he's, ready to, he's ready to go so let's get this Garcia fight this real Garcia fight underway 
case. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what Say that they got a car. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, yo, pilot. Yo, your final thoughts? Yeah, not much more can I say. Uh, you know, shout out to everybody in the comments. It was cracking tonight. Um, you know, podcast was cracking. Uh, hope everybody had a good twenty twenty two. Um, keep fucking with us twenty twenty three because we got a lot of shit coming. That's all I got. Yes, sir. AOP. Final thoughts. Next up, yo, I believe that's me. Yo, P, light up the mic for the symphony. Hey. <laughs> uh, you know, this was uh, quite the weekend of boxing. The good, the bad. Birthday and, uh, weekend, nigga. Yeah, birthday weekend. Birthday weekend. So, you know what I'm saying? I had a lot of fun in D.C. It was great. You know, I was there for the boxing, but I was there for just life. Life be life in. And yes, sir. Birthday was great. Uh, a lot of fun time, you know. Salute to all the dudes on Twitter that, you know, I, I, I met up with. Great time. Shout out to uh, Truth Over Narrative, A-Side Boxing. Go check out his channel. He got some dope Hello. content up, too. Uh, Broadway Joel, the voice of Dominican Boxing. He, yo, that's my go guy. We always got to break come up with some ends soon. Oh, that's yeah, good. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't forgot. Guy. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? The event was dope. You know, the, the fights might be what they were. But, you know, I had a good time because the the the... The bitches was bitching, I'll say that. Hey. You know <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I wanted to ask you, like, how was the women in D.C.? Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Like I said, the bitches was bitching. Like, yeah, okay. So, like, and, chocolate like, city. everybody was out. Oh, there was a lot of chocolate. I was loving it. Man. Chocolate city. That's why I love fucking D.C. That's why D.C. Yeah, I, that's I why every time, I to, every time I go to D.C., I get into situations. Yeah, but also, a lot of... <laughs> There was a lot of pimps in this uh, in the arena, and yeah, I, I, I say that in in the literal sense of pimps. Yeah, like, yeah, no, pimping is still strong in DC. I, man. I I know a pimp when I see one, and there was some pimps out there. Yeah, the pimp, <laughs> yeah pimping the whole one. This, this, the culture study, what DC has an interesting culture. That shit is down there, man. Uh, pimping don't die, just multiply. Shit, that's a culture I can get with. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, overall i enjoyed myself i enjoyed all the boxing you know what i'm saying shout out to cool boy steph uh i got to take a picture with him i talked to him for a little bit great guy you know what i'm saying great boxer great guy so i i fucks with him shout out to fulton um but you know what i'm saying shout out to ring gang that's what's most important, hey you know what I'm shout out to ring gang we we out here you know what i'm saying 2023 it's about to be a big year for us so you know what i'm saying keep uh i'm enjoying the engagement uh thank you for all the people that show up you know, every night to listen to us banter and go back and forth on anything because we just be just we be chatting. So, yeah. <laughs> so I didn't realize we was going on so long about the damn pay per view card. Like, shit. yeah, yeah, we, yeah we, we had a lot of shit to talk about. That's the thing on that pay per view. Damn, like hey, we treated hey. that like that was a Don King pay per view loaded Saturday worth of boxing. Like, Bad. yeah, so it was four <laughs> showcase. I mean, three showcase fights. But. Yo, no, you had it right the first time, nigga. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> See, the, <laughs> that's but the man. truth coming out, bro. We all have it, bro. Your third eye is just, it's, it's, it's open. Yeah. Bro. Oh, my God. Nah, three showcase fights and one good fight. That's and, one, and one tune up. Uh, <laughs> all this. All this third eye talk is making me wheezy. Oh, okay, Absol. Um, <laughs> hey, man, I, I can't help it if I can if I, if I can explain boxing in those terms, man. I'm, Three I'm, showcases and a tune-up. That sounds like a, a EP or an album or some shit. Like, truthfully, that should probably be that. That could also be the title of this of the segment too, nigga. Oh, uh, oh the, the other one is just as good too, man. I might have to... Night of Night of the Living Mid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Living Mid. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Damn, we, 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 the titles be titling, nigga. Yes, they definitely be titling. But you know what I'm saying? You know where to find us at ringgangradio.com. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. You know, we out here in every platform. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the gang and shout out to the fans. You know what I'm saying? Keep fucking with us. We got some more dope shit coming on. So, that's all I got to say about that. Yeah, and I don't have too much to add, but other than uh, yeah, you know, you know, if you listen to our shit, man, anywhere, Google our Google Ring Gang on on the internet, I'll take you where you need to be, especially our website, ringgangradio.com, and our YouTube, man. If you see a video, man, you listen, you like it, you comment, and you sub, and then 
you tell your friends to do the same, we can all be friends. You yo, know fair to, yo, yo, fuck it. I gotta say this. Please, y'all, if y'all really fuck with us, share the video, share the YouTube, please. Uh, I'm tired of looking at the same subscriber account on the YouTube channel, please. So, y'all, y'all share this motherfucker. Like, seriously. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, we, we always have those weird jumps. Sometimes it just jumps out of nowhere and then bam, it kind of levels out. I mean, it's weird how that uh, that works for us. Because sometimes we have like where we just it just do 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 just creeps in increments. It, it's weird. We we haven't figured out the YouTube. This should need to jump like Kermit Centron in a Paul Williams fight. Like seriously, like you know. But uh, also too, and also salutes. I think I, I saw a couple, a couple of PayPal donations come in. So if you, whoever sent in the PayPal donations, salute to you on that. Salute, though. salute, salute. Pr- appreciate, appreciate it. Because you know, ring gang, we try, we try to bring you shit you want and need, man. We, you know. Like I said, you know, we're, you know, we're underground, man, you know, but we're known, we're known to more people than even, than even we know, because I know, because, you know, people bite our stuff, like, constantly, so, even my my brother showed me a video on, on, on Instagram of someone that's somewhat similar, I'll, be, I'll show you the video too, and you'll see what I mean, but somewhat similar to how we talk about boxing, so, it's, uh, it's, yeah, more, it's, it's, ah, like, bro. <laughs> Real shit, nigga. We spread, nigga. I was in the strip club the other day. The bitch was dancing on me. She was like, damn, you that ring gang, nigga, ain't you? I was like, yes, baby. Keep going. <laughs> so you that ring gang, nigga, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro. Yeah, he's so stupid now. I'm trying to do this outro, nigga. <laughs> All right, let me get this outro in. Yo, you nigga, you keep going. Yo, <laughs> stupid nigga, bro. <laughs> Yo, so for myself, that's Scorpio, the legal representative, you know, for LB, showing up the God, the GOAT artist, for King P, Bodega P, for Concerts Pilot, and for Rome Top 5, aka Chicago Win. You know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So until next time, peace. Hey, y'all, those ring gang niggas? <laughs> <laughs>